So cell respiration involves the oxidation and reduction of electron carriers, and let's explore what that actually means. So let's first define what oxidation and reduction means, and in order to do this, you can use the term oil rig to help you remember. So this stands for oxidation is loss, and that's referring to electrons, so oxidation is loss of electrons, and reduction is gain, again referring to electrons, so reduction is gain of electrons. So you can use oil rig to help you remember the difference between oxidation and reduction. Now when we look at them separately, there are other ways that you can identify whether oxidation or reduction has taken place. So in the case of oxidation, this is the loss of electrons, but you can also identify it by the loss of hydrogen. And this is because if you look at the structure of hydrogen as an atom, so this is a little bit of chemistry here, it has one proton and one electron around the outside. So therefore, if you lose hydrogen, you lose an electron also. The other way that you can identify oxidation as per the name is if there is a gain of oxygen. So conversely, let's have a look at reduction. So reduction is a gain of electrons, but it can also be identified by a gain of hydrogen. And once again, this is because hydrogen is made up of one proton and one electron. So if you gain hydrogen, you gain the electron. In addition, you can identify reduction by a loss of oxygen. So cell respiration involves both oxidation and reduction of electron carriers. So let's take a look at two of the electron carriers that are used in respiration. So the first one and the most common is NAD+. And NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And when you have NAD+, plus two hydrogen ions, H+, plus two electrons, this produces NADH plus a hydrogen ion, H+. Plus. And this process is reduction because you're gaining electrons. And remember, reduction is a gain in electrons. Now, if we go in the other direction, where NADH and a hydrogen ion produces NAD+, plus plus the two hydrogen ions, plus two electrons, this is oxidation. This is because it is a loss of electrons. Now, it's a very similar process with the other electron carrier that's used in respiration, and this is FAD. FAD stands for flavin adenine dinucleotide. And when you have FAD combining with two hydrogen ions and two electrons, it produces FADH2. Because this process involves a gain of electrons, this is reduction. And once again, vice versa, if you split FADH2 back into two electrons, two hydrogen ions and FAD, since you're losing electrons, this process is oxidation. And therefore, when you're explaining the process of respiration and referring to the electron carriers, you may refer to the oxidized forms, which is the NAD plus and the FAD, or you might refer to the reduced forms, and that would be NADH or FADH2.